Hey there and welcome. Thanks for joining me. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing. And don't forget to click on that bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And I hope you guys had a great, great Christmas. I know I did. And also, if you guys enjoy this tutorial, please give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. It'll help my channel. So today, what you're going to need are four of these wooden um, wire brushes that you can get at Dollar Tree. And what we're going to do with these first is basically remove them from the package. And then we're going to remove the bristles from the brush. And the way I remove the bristles from the brush are um, I use a pair of pliers or tweezers and then basically just roll by roll uh, bend them forward and then pull them out and I do this for roll by roll and if you want to see detailed uh, tutorial on how to do that I'll link that tutorial somewhere above here and um, you guys can watch after this video next you can use wood filler or this drywall nail filler that I'm using from Dollar Tree basically I think it works the same um, at least it does for me um, just go ahead and cover up all the openings from your brush and you can also cover up the opening where the handle part is at there's a larger opening there on the brush as well I'm not doing that um, but you can of course do that as well once you've covered up all the openings allow it to dry for a good 30 minutes before you sand everything down and I like to sand the entire brush itself down and I'm using these brushes, um, this piece of wood, because it's kind of curved already. Um, I hope you guys can see it on camera, but they're curved. So it was perfect for what I wanted it to use it for. Now you just go ahead and once they're dried and sand down, go ahead and just get the color that you want to paint them or leave them natural wood color if you like. Um, I decided to go ahead and give them a whitewash um, brush paint on here. So that's what I'm doing. And they don't take very long to dry once if you just do a light coat of white paint or any color of paint um, and just go ahead and set these aside and allow them to dry for at least a good 30 minutes before you go to the next step now once you're done with that go ahead and get a round disc of piece of wood um, typically you can get them at walmart or dollar tree uh, like six or eight maybe even ten in a pack if you don't find them go ahead and just use what you have and that's what i am doing i'm using this uh, little round sign that came in one of the black shadow boxes from dollar tree and um it has like a piece of wood in the bottom so what um i would recommend if you're going to use a round disc piece of wood that you already have and it doesn't have that same little block in the back just go ahead and use one of the jingle blocks from dollar tree it'll work the same way now go ahead and paint the round disc the color of your choice or the color that you're using for your um, pieces of wood as well for your lantern which in my case is white and just go ahead and set that aside and allow everything to dry while everything is drying go ahead and get one of these round large uh, cutting boards um, they're in the kitchen area these larger glass uh, cutting boards um, I know there's some smaller ones if you want to use a smaller one in the candle area um, but go ahead and get whatever disc you'd like around plate and then just remove the little um, rubber stands on the back and what there's a shiny part and a rough part on this plate I'm using the shiny part um, facing up and the rough part is going to be facing down so I'm gluing basically this candle holder on the rough side of my uh, cutting board using E6000 and a little bit of hot glue not much I just put a few dabs of hot glue just to allow it to stick to my glass immediately giving that E6000 enough time to dry and this candle holder I got at Dollar Tree as well there's usually white or black and they're ceramic this was the easiest way I found how to make this lantern um, I just left the my candle bottom part in the glass upside down and allowing it to dry there and then using E6000 and a little bit of hot glue I'm adding it to the tops of my pieces of wood you can also use wood glue but I didn't have any um, but use whatever you have on hand and then get your round disc with the little piece of wood in the bottom 
And basically, you're just going to put the pieces of wood on either side of that block. And then just continue to do that with the other two. Here, for some reason, I decided to do it the hard way, um, holding one and trying to do everything with my hand still holding those pieces of wood. I would just recommend you get a piece of some books or something hard or heavy on either side of those wood pieces that you already glued to the round disc and then you would have both hands free. Why I did it this way, I don't know, but this is the way I did it. Um, so just go ahead and glue the other two on the opposite side of your round disc. If you notice, it's still in the bottom. And then just go ahead and place something on top that's um, heavy enough for it to stay in place and allow this to dry for a good two hours or at least two hours overnight if possible um, before you do the next step. Again, why I didn't wait, I have no idea, but I guess I was just in a hurry. So what I did was I started gluing my um, nautical rope onto the top of my lantern. Just using hot glue, I started gluing it around my round disc and also the wood piece, uh, put wood pieces of my lantern. And it would be a lot easier if you wait and allow this to dry. Um, but again, I didn't, so you can still do it this way. It's just a little bit harder to move around, but go ahead and glue your um, nautical rope around the top. And I just did that so you wouldn't see where the pieces of wood from the bottom, the brushes may, uh, meet my round disc on top. And if you can see the opening up there um, where my nautical rope is at, like I said, you can fill those in. But what I did was I unraveled my nautical rope and added a piece of um, that nautical rope inside that circle. So let me know in the comments down below, do you think I should do both of them with the nautical rope inside that opening or should I leave it as is and just cover it up? I'm still not sure and I'll show you a picture at the end of how they look together. Um, and let me know, I would, I'd like to know your opinion on what I should do on that part. So again, using some E6000 and a little bit of hot glue, just go ahead. Um, what I did was eyeball where I want the lantern uh, pieces of wood to be on my glass. And I added the E6000 hot glue there. And just go ahead and place two to the front and back or side to side first and then do the opposite to the other two, making sure they're nice and even and secure. And then just allow this to over to dry for a few minutes or at least a good two hours and this is the way it looks without that rope in that opening on top and this is the way they look together which one should i do until next time i hope you guys enjoy bye you guys stay blessed